All right, so you want to put the the videos you recorded on your iPhone 3GS. You want to edit them. Only problem is that it's QuickTime, so you can't put it in um in the Windows Video Maker, whatever. So I will show you how um all the things you need to download will be on the sidebar. Um, you need Ox Oxylon Oxylon Media Converter, and the link will be on the sidebar. So you go to my computer, and that's my iPhone, and that is the video I want to edit. So I'm gonna take it out. Hold on. It takes a while. Alright, so that's it right there. So once you have this, all you have to do is get the file and yeah, wait, screw it. Open this up, drag the file in the program. And this is what you want to make it to make it um for Windows compatible. You want the media format to be AVI, the video codec to be WMV1, and the audio codec to be WM WMAV1. And you know you could edit it 30 frames per second. I like that. Then you convert it. And a good thing about this is that it also, like you see right here, it's 103 megabytes. It will make it probably, I don't know, like 30, 35 megabytes. I prefer this better because, you know, downloading that many megabytes to YouTube, it takes too long. And this just shortens it, so I prefer this over, you know, putting it straight to YouTube for my iPhone because it takes way too long so over here after it's finished converting it is 52 percent 53 percent um yeah then I'll show you how you can put it in Windows Movie Maker I'll open that right now um on, wherever it is Windows Movie Maker right there Um, alright, so that's your new, your new start. And it is 96% done, so it's, it's good. Alright, it's completed, so, uh, you cancel this out, and the website always pops up, so, screw it. Um, that's the video right here. Uh... You see, that's the QuickTime, and that's the Windows one. So I'm going to open up Windows Movie Maker, drag it in. And it's importing, and there we go. Now you could start editing your videos with from when you've just recorded it from an iPhone and hell I'm doing this off of an iPhone as well so I'm just gonna do this from an iPhone you know you could add music you could do whatever you want I mean this is this is basically how you do it and you only need Oxylon media converter and that will be on the sidebar for the link and it's free it's it's good and like I said remember the formats AVI uh, all that all the formats will be in on the information bar thing. So yeah, thanks for watching.